Imagine a Disney movie without its soundtrack. Just doesn't sound right, does it? Apart from the incredible animation and storyline, the music really is what makes these movies come together. If you're a Disney fan like us, you must be delighted to hear that they've just announced that to celebrate the anniversaries of five of their movies, they will be releasing their soundtracks in colored vinyl. To know more deets, keep watching. First up, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. For the movie's 85th anniversary, Disney has reissued a special edition of its soundtracks in the form of vinyl. There's just something about Snow White sitting with the dwarfs and the different animals of the forest around her, listening to her sing, Someday My Prince Will Come. The scene is one of the most memorable ones in the movie, with the dwarves and the animals mesmerized by Snow White. We find ourselves in the same trance as them, and all credit is due to the song she sings. And what will make it even better is when it's played on vinyl. There is something about the sound of vinyl, which if you're a collector, you'd know the difference, but if if you aren't, we'll try to explain it. There's a kind of warmth. There's more depth in the music when it's on vinyl. And in comparison to digital music, it's so much better. And in the Snow White vinyl, you get 26 tracks of the 1937 Disney movie to enjoy. Next up, Bambi. We're pretty sure that no one was ready for the emotional roller coaster ride that was the 1942 Disney movie Bambi. Like, what could possibly go wrong with an adorable little deer and his friends, right? Well, a lot, apparently. But if there's one thing that really added more to the already extremely sentimental movie, it was the soundtrack. Since the movie mainly features animals, the main form of communication in it was the soundtrack. In fact, the score pauses only twice during the entire movie, and both of those moments are times when it's needed to create an impact. We've heard people play with the power of music, but in Bambi, we're able to experience the power of the absence of music. Wow. With all that being said, it looks like the Bambi vinyl is the one to add in your collection and then Aladdin. Remember the time Aladdin showed us a whole new world, shining, shimmering, splendid? Yeah, we know he was singing to Jasmine, but in that one moment, it felt like he was singing to everyone watching, to all of us. This is why that song became one of the most legendary ones in the entire Disney franchise. The movie was an instant classic box office hit. We mean, with such a strong opening song like Arabian Nights, are we even surprised? Since this movie is such an important part of our childhood, to own the record of its soundtrack would be a dream come true. And with Disney's recent announcement, it looks like that isn't just a dream anymore. Up next, Lilo and Stitch. Did you know that the Lilo and Stitch soundtrack includes famous Elvis Presley songs? Because Lilo was obsessed with the king of rock and roll. It wasn't easy to feature his songs in the movie though, because to even mention Presley in a movie, you need permission from the Elvis Presley estate. And that's exactly what the filmmakers ended up doing, and they were able to get his famous songs like Stuck on You, Heartbreak Hotel, Hound Dog, and You're the Devil in Disguise to be a soundtrack of the film. How cool is that? But what really makes this soundtrack beautiful are the beautiful Hawaiian melodies that have a modern edge to them. These songs are more than that. They're also finally some representation for Hawaii, which Disney really wanted to work on since its misrepresentation in Hollywood in the past. If you're looking for a fix of uplifting yet emotional music, you know which record to get. And finally, Hercules. We decided to keep the best for last. Hercules was Disney's first movie based on Greek mythology. It was a massive hit across the world and the music takes credit for the success of the movie. What really makes this movie's music stand out from the rest of the Disney movies is the muses. The Greek chorus featuring five leading ladies is not only the opening number of the movie, but also adds an element of humor to it. The film's song Go the Distance was also nominated for Best Original Song at the Golden Globes and also the Academy Awards. What more do you need to get your hands on the vinyl of this Disney classic? While you decide which record you're getting your hands on, we're gonna have a look too. In other related news, Ryan Reynolds jokes about R-rated Disney classics. It was announced recently by Disney that a few R-rated movies will finally be available on their streaming site, Disney+. Plus. Two of these movies are Deadpool and its sequel, Deadpool 2, both of which feature Ryan Reynolds. While he was excited about his movie, finally being available on the streaming site, in true Ryan Reynolds fashion, he took to Twitter to take a dig at the company. He stated that even though Disney is claiming that the first R-rated movies that they're putting on the website are the Deadpool series along with Logan, some of their older movies should be in the R-rated portion for the irreversible trauma they've caused. He didn't finish there. He further elaborated on his statement. He talked about four different movies that support his statement, the first one being Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. What did our 
Princess do to be part of this list. According to Reynolds, the movie talks about borderline polyandry and also breaking and entering a place. He didn't end there. He stated that the diamonds she wears didn't look cruelty free either. Sounds about right. The second movie he puts forward is Old Yeller. Reynolds explains that the movie was totally ugly cry inducing with the murder of Old Yeller. If that wasn't traumatic enough, the movie also shows bear abuse. Mr. Reynolds does make points, we'll give him that. The next movie he talks about is the 1994 classic Lion King. Ryan's problem with the movie, half sibling loving, or at least kissing cousins. Okay, he's just ruining our childhood at this point. But he doesn't stop there. He finishes his argument with the movie Bambi. He states that the movie gave him lifelong trauma because it shows the cold-blooded killing of an innocent deer. Honestly, we've got to hand it to Reynolds. He does make sense with all those explanations. Let's see if Disney decides to take his words into consideration. Till then, you can stream Deadpool on Disney+. Plus. Next, Disney confirms which MCU movie will begin filming next. The Comic-Con held in San Diego was a huge hit, with fans seeing their favorite stars and directors, and also with them receiving news about what Marvel and Disney are up to next. Disney has had a busy year, with their much-awaited sequel for Black Panther being the next movie releasing soon. But they've revealed in the same event that they have a lot of other projects coming soon, including Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, and Agatha, Coven of Chaos. But that's not all. The company also shared their production schedule, which revealed that they will start filming the movie Blade next. They explained that the movie's production had been delayed several times, mainly because of COVID-19, but now they are positive that they will be able to shoot on schedule. The filming is supposed to begin in October of 2022, and if all goes according to plan, we will see the movie come out in theaters on the 3rd of November 2023. Finally, Disney Disney signs open letter supporting same-sex marriage rights. After it was revealed that they donated to every sponsor of Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill earlier this year, Disney had to make amendments to fix their image. Fans were disappointed in their favorite movie producing company and were ready to boycott it, but Disney was quick to patch things up. The Hollywood Reporter revealed that the company's agenda was to sign an open letter that supported the same-sex marriage rights into federal law. The letter claimed that no person, including interracial couples and same-sex couples should fear their marriage or feel threatened about their employment benefits. The letter already has around 170 signatures that represent 5.3 million employees. Along with Disney, Apple and Sony have signed this letter to show their support for the pro-LGBTQ plus bill. This isn't the only action Disney has taken after their Don't Say Gay bill controversy. They also pledged a $5 million donation to the human rights campaign after that, but the group refused to to accept that, which just made things worse for the company. Not only that, a group of Pixar animators had earlier this year accused the company of censorship of same-sex affection displayed in their films. To fix that, they restored a kiss scene between a same-sex couple in the movie Lightyear. After all of that damage, Disney is in hopes that the signing of this letter will help fix their image. Looks like in the end, love does win. That's a wrap for this video. Which vinyl out of the five would you buy? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.